The Last Sayuki is a manga that came out in Shonen Jump a couple days ago, and after hearing about it on Twitter, I was curious. So I went, read the first chapter, and it's intriguing to say the least. It focuses on a third grader named Ryu, someone who loves baseball. On the day he's given the form for his dad to sign so he can join the baseball club, he's so excited. But then when he gets home, he finds out that his father has a young girl with him named Koharu. And Koharu is blind and has prosthetic limbs. His father informs Ryu that she will be his new younger sister and that he will have to take care of her from now on, meaning that he can't go to school anymore, meaning that he can't play baseball on the school team. So he resents her for this and ends up hating his life for the next few months. One day he goes to school anyway, leaving Koharu behind so he can play baseball with his friends and has a lot of fun. But when he is gone, she ends up having heat stroke. She is fine after a short hospital stay, but Ryu is punished for this by being locked in a pitch black storeroom. He screams to be let out. So Koharu does so, hurting herself in the process. This deepens the bond between the two of them, showing Ryu that she does care about him, and so he cares about her now too. That night, she leaves the room the two of them share, and when Ryu finds her, she's floating in the air, then a strange monster appears. Ryu tries fighting it, then his father shows up and destroys it. Then revealing the truth that Koharu is a divine being, who has the power to make people's fears materialize. Koharu could destroy humanity if she believes them not to be worthy. So the father reveals that the reason he brought Koharu to their house is so Ryu could love her and show her how great humanity is. There's a lot I liked about this chapter. For one, Ryu's frustrations were just felt strongly and they were understandable, especially since he's a kid. But him coming to care about Koharu, I think that's where I will really enjoy the series, the bond between the two of them. Koharu as a character I'm less interested in for now. She doesn't talk much, that's kind of her thing, so it's really hard to get to know her. But for now, it seems like she's just a cute character that needs protection, but we'll see. I want more from her than that. The whole thing with fears being manifested is cool, especially with the art able to show the beast like thing, whatever it is, and I could feel how Ryu is terrified of the monster. Though him trying to fight it despite that was great too. There's also like the chilling aspects of it, that almost horror-like, or maybe it is horror. I'm not really good at determining what is and is not horror. And then you have that, but then with the contrast of the more childlike innocence of Ryu. These combined with the emotional bond between Ryu and Koharu, I think that could be a really cool combination. There are a lot of unanswered questions and stuff that doesn't really make sense, but this being the first chapter, well, I can't hold it against the... I was about to call a show. I can't hold it against the manga too much yet. So let me know if you've read the manga. It's available for free on the Shonen Jump Viz website. I'll put a link in the description, assuming I remember. And I'll probably talk about this again at some point, especially if there's interest in me doing so. So thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.